Hello and welcome to highlights of stage four of the Sarah Tizit Challenge by La Vuelta. 160 kilometers in total today, 1,652 meters of elevation from Palencia to Segovia. And uh, a rolling stage, quite a few climbs early on in the day. And then a gravel sector coming with 8.7 kilometers to go and then a cobbled technical finish. Rolling out from the start in Palencia, 17 kilometer neutralized section awaited the riders. Annemiek van Vluten still in the red jersey, 155 ahead of Elisa Longo Borghini and Demi Vollering at 224. Anna Kiesenhofer, though, the Olympic champion, the arch nemesis, you would call her, of our race leader, Annemiek van Vluten, going on the attack. Started the day seven minutes and 14 seconds down in the general classification and at times had a gap of 10 minutes. As they came towards the top of the Queen of the Mountains point with 12.7 kilometers to go, a real concerted chase by the peloton behind were starting to make inroads into the gap of the Olympic champion. The pressure on the climb though was starting to distance quite a few riders from the peloton. They would have the gravel sector ahead. Team Movistar were working hard on the front. Sara Martin, as they hit the gravel sector, Kiesenhofer's gap though was starting to tumble and plenty of attacks from the peloton behind, led by Brody Chapman. She would be chased by Vlad Blanca Vash of Team SD Works. This would take a select leading group clear as multiple riders were distanced off the back. 46 seconds came down to 37 with 5.4 kilometers to go. Pretty much two and a half kilometer drag after a very fast technical descent. Kiesenhofer would have a work cut out to try and hold on to the finish. The red jersey, though, was having to be very mindful of riders getting distanced on the climb. It would be heartbreak, though, for the Olympic champion, but what a show she put on for us yet again. She was swept up as they started the climb up towards the finish. Liana Lipper of Team DSM, the German champion, the first rider to go, Vollering. Longa Borghini, Kapeki, Van to Persico and Utrup Ludwig, the only riders in that front group. Longo Borghini, Kapeki and Persico came through on a very tight technical cobbled finish. Persico, Kapeki coming together as they swept around towards the finish. But it would be a first World Tour victory for the Italian from Valcar Travel and Service. Persico takes it from Vollering and Longo Borghini. Great finish, what a season she is having. Sylvia Persico delivers her first World Tour victory for Valcar Travel and Service. There you have it, Vollering comes through on the inside, but it's not close enough. Persico takes it from Vollering, Longo Borghini, Capecchi, Lippert, Van Vluten, Utrecht, Ludwig, Costa, Nubia Doma and Garcia, your top 10. With one stage to go, it is looking like another GC victory in the Saratizic Challenge by La Vuelta for Annemiek Van Vluten, with Longo Borghini closing the gap to 151. We head to Madrid for the final stage, 95.6 kilometers around the city where it all started in 2015. It is a day for the sprinters, 17 laps of the circuit. Make sure you join us for more action tomorrow.